if I'd met you when you were 13 and I'd said, what do you want to be when you grow up, what would you have said? Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. <laughs> I, I suppose something, something heroic. Yeah. Um, that might have involved either exploration or war or risk taking of some kind. Um, Did you have heroes? Yeah, they were the usual. I mean, <laughs> Biggles, obviously, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Um, who doesn't? <laughs> um, and the people who'd come to school with their lectures. Did you have that? The fellow who'd been up the Zambezi. Really. Yes, there was a bit of that. They there was great. a bit of that. They were boys. fantastic. I don't know where they go. The careers advisor could get you on that path. <laughs> what do yes, you want to do yes. when you grow up? <laughs> yeah. Um, what, what do you want to do when you grow up? Well, I, first of all, I'd like to have been born 100 years ago. That's the first thing. Um, yeah, th those that the, the, the sort of Shackleton um, heroics were, you know, I suppose were in my mind. Mm. But then, you know, those... I don't think the careers officer actually had a leaflet for that um, when, I, when I was there. No. And, and was there room for anything else apart from rowing? Because I, I know by the time that you were at university, you're looking at it's eight hours a day to, or thereabouts. It, to it's do. a lot, yeah. But you got into it pretty heavily at school. Was there room? Did you still do the acting? Did you still do other stuff on the... Uh, not much. Uh... What's that like then? Because I, I, I'm not single-minded. I've never had that single-mindedness. What, what, how do you get into it? Because well, you, you must care. You give a, an impression of falling into it or following your dad into it, but there must have been a pretty superhuman level of dedication it, It's pretty addictive, is I it? must say. And yeah, that's endorphins yeah. as much yeah, as anything else, I suppose else, is it? it is endorphins, but there's something about not just the, the physical um, demands of it. There's something about winning a rowing race that is unlike winning anything else that I've not that I've won a lot of other things sure. but the few things that I have didn't come close to the feeling you get from winning a rowing, rowing race I'm not quite sure I mean I had a theory at one time that it's because you're facing backwards so you're watching the person you're beating whereas runners w runners leading a ra an Olympic race for example yes. they always have that slight they look like slightly neurotic horses coming up the last you know the home straight they've got who's coming past me who's coming past can't me can't look over where is it? exactly because they'll slow down exactly <laughs> and their, their eyes go wide and they look absolutely terrified whereas you kind of know when you've got a race a, a rowing race in the back you you sort of know when you've when you've broken them actually to be yeah. you know sort of uh, brutal about it that's what it amounts to you kind of think I, I've actually that makes sense I've made you give up I've yeah. made the other crew give up which is quite a good feeling what was it like to lose uh, that's l less pleasant but, but uh, also you can't see the winner so it must you cannot have, you can hear them the though. you can completely hear them that's <laughs> the awful thing and cheering um, but as I my dad he, my dad coached me uh not not very often, but mm. he did for a couple of weeks. He and he had it. There were, I remember there was a race we lost, and we were very despondent about it. And I remember him saying, um, "Always remember, any idiot can win." And uh, he wasn't much given to these sort of gnomic pronouncements, but that was a particularly good one. I thought <laughs> what he meant was that winning doesn't really teach you anything. You yeah. can go through if you are a constant winner, you go through life without ever really being touched by anything, without ever learning anything or 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 reconfiguring yeah. yourself. Whereas if you lose, it forces you to to examine yourself and think about what you could have done better and uh, and how how hard you're prepared to exert yourself to make sure it doesn't happen again um it's it's a uh, he's right isn't he he is he is he was and he is yeah you mentioned that your dad was a gp he he also i mean were you conscious from quite an early age of his uh, sporting prowess. I, I'm trying to. What were the? What were the? No, that was another thing that was concealed uh, was from it? me. Yes, very much so. Um, I remember uh, my parents laughing a lot um, because we we were in a boat. We'd gone fishing, um, and we were in a boat. And my dad took the oars, and I said to my mother, "Does he know how to row?" <laughs> and they laughed, and I said, "What are you laughing at?" And they didn't tell me. <laughs> they didn't tell me uh, till years later. I realised he'd he'd actually won an Olympic gold medal 
for that. Uh, not not in a fishing boat, but um, you know <laughs> oh, the 1948 he, London Games, 48 the Olympics, and he also rode at the 36 Olympics in Berlin. Gosh, he actually saw uh, Jesse Owens jump and beat Lutz Long uh, in the long jump. Um, and you knew none of this? I didn't. Oh, I didn't. Why is that? I, I see the word Presbyterian. I'm never entirely sure what that means, but it does usually involve a, uh, not 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 boasting and thinking. yeah that is the principal um, credo i think is just not boasting they were they treated modesty as a as a sort of martial art it oh. was uh, i can out modest you um and uh, yes you're right presbyterian is sort of banded about in, in fairly loosely but they did in as much as they were church going they went to the church of scotland right. in uh, in oxford where we lived at the time um, so, yes, I suppose that they were Presbyterian by temperament rather than faith. So if, I, if, if we early amateur psychology, you would be discouraged from showing off in any way. Uh, absolutely forbidden. Yeah. Right. Absolutely forbidden. And yet. <laughs> and yet. <laughs> that's pretty much what I do for a living. <laughs> is, you're right. You're right. It doesn't it doesn't make any sort of sense. <laughs>